ask you a few questions about Simon. Simon? Yes, yeah, Simon. He works here at the library. What can you tell us about Simon? Um, does he work in this department? He is the guy who straightens all the pens and pen the pencils and little pieces of paper. You're kidding. I would... Are you sure? Yeah, that's Simon. That's Simon? That's Simon? Yes. Right, no, that was that's Simon's job. That's what he does. Oh, okay. And he does it throughout the whole library? He does throughout the whole library. He's been here for five years. Five years? Yeah. When does he come in? Uh, during the day. He's here during the day. Sure. I'm sure. I mean, how, how do you think those pencils get straightened and everything? Well, um, what I would tell the children, I would say that maybe some book characters come out at night and do all that. But I didn't actually realize there was someone who did it. So you've never met Simon? Or no. Never seen him at any library functions? No. No. That's kind of sad. Yeah. So really what I, I, I guess I do here is, uh, well, I, I fill the, the pencil trays and, and I put some paper in and make sure there's always sharp pencils and it's it's really great. It, the pay's good and uh, it's there there's there's so many nice people and uh, when the kids they have a reading time, well they they don't like me reading to them but sometimes they read to me. And it's just, it's a really uplifting experience. I've been here a good five, six years. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's good. It, it's a steady job. I am, I, I really, I like it. it. It's not a place I'd, I'd like to leave soon, no. No, I, I've been here five, five years and six months, and let me see, what's today? Wednesday. Four days. It's, it's very uplifting, yes. Uh, we used the short ones. Um, I went to a mini golf place and they had a bunch and I said, where do you get these? And they gave me the number. It's it's actually, it's a pencil factory. All they make is pencils. Um, I don't go to that one anymore because they, they came with the mechanical ones and those just weren't in our budget, I guess. I, I, I don't use the library's money. I just, you know, use my, my pocket money because it's, it's, it's my way of giving back to the library. It's, it's treated me very well. In my spare time, I, I collect balloons. I um I, I fill them with water and uh I just there's something about a uh, balloon filled with water that it it's it's my um it's my totem. It's a fell very well rounded figure and I try to be well rounded. I, I I try to read a lot of books and um it it, it just reminds me that uh Sometimes if you get your life so jam-packed, uh, one day it may just burst. So I try to keep kind of a low profile, uh, you know, out, outside of the library. Uh, I've been, I, I collected balloons, but um, there, there was a big heat wave uh, last year. I, I had uh, 157 balloons, but the, the heat wave uh, 
took all but four. I, I, I called that, that one uh, Big Mama, uh, Old Blue, and uh, Little Johnny, because he's small, that's why he didn't pop, and uh, Tiny Sarah. She's, she's the smallest of, of the four, but um, I've started collecting. I, I, have, I have 20 balloons now filled with water, and um, they, they're, it, they're my family. I just love them. Some, some people collect stamps, but there's nothing like a good water-filled balloon for me. Dear Mr. Thatch, it has recently come to our attention that you have worked for the Burlingame Public Library for the past five years. We regret to inform you that we no longer need your services. Thank you. Why? Well, I've been doing uh, this for uh, about 10 years now. Um, I started when I was 17. Uh, I really wanted, you know, people like go out for rock and roll and they go to a big concert and they go to, you know, the big arenas for uh, the big show. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring rock and roll to the people because I don't think uh, a lot of bands say that like, hey, we're going to bring you rock and roll. but it's actually you're going to those places you're going to see them they're not bringing you rock and roll so uh, what I decided was I was actually gonna bring people rock and roll I don't get a lot of people uh, stopping to hear me most people just drive by um, but I, I try and there's that five seconds where they see me, they approach me, they realize this is a man with a guitar, it's very strange, what is he doing out here? Then they realize, oh, he's trying to be entertaining, and then for that, like, five seconds where they're eye to eye with me, they are entertained, and then they're, like, driving off um, to, you know, go on their day. But for that five seconds, I've entertained them, and I think that's important. Uh I've also come up to this neighborhood. This is a pretty nice neighborhood. Most uh, street musicians will stay like in uh, heavily populated areas. Um, I want a bit more of a challenge. I, I want to go kind of door to door. And uh, in this neighborhood, it's a very nice neighborhood. Um, I think my profit potential is a lot greater than just being out on the street where people just have change. Up here, uh, you know, uh, people have better homes and uh, better cars, nicer cars nice car right there um, and they have more money that they can afford to kind of pay me more and um hey living room are you ready to rock all right here we go this is a little song um don't go away man just drive away thank you thank you very much Woo! it's I'm really the only person I think in the music world today that's writing five second songs because it's it's hard to to cram much entertainment when people are driving by into a whole song like that a uh, five second song um, like here comes a car now I'll do the watch out here comes a bird see that's that's it that was the big hit and um, they she liked it she didn't uh, you know slam on the brakes and try and run me over or anything Here we go. Hey! Hey, 
I'm a, a wandering uh, street rock musician, and I was wondering if I could, if I could just for. Okay, thank you. Good night. All right. Good man, go away. Slam the door. I'm a musician. I don't have to take that. I work hard for. Th the hell is that? Oh, Mr. Balloon Man, huh? I'll get you, Mr. Balloon Man. Call my little special friend and take care of Mr. Balloon Man. I'm a, I'm a trained assassin. Done it for about 25 years and made probably more kills than a lot of army guys will ever see in their days. I, uh, I'm a professional balloon assassin. Uh, specialty in uh, balloons full of water. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about how a water balloon when, when it explodes and the water sprays everywhere. It's, it's beautiful for me. It's like, you know, some people got their uh, their sports or some people got them like, you know, you know, their race cars. You know, I have I have a water balloon exploding. That's 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 my thing. Air rifle's a gift from my grandfather. We called him Lou Hindenburg. Yeah, he pulled up a pretty big job. I won't say which one. Might get in trouble. Anyway, uh, you know, he's a... He used to go to school, too, but, you know, I find this is just, you know, all I need, really. This is what I use on most of my jobs against balloons, but, you know, I'm not about, you know, I'm not above using a needle. You know, it's, uh, it's fine. It, uh, it's actually kind of fun. You get that thrill of sneaking up on them and, you know, because there's that, always that chance they might hear you and might kind of, like, run away. So you gotta, like, sneak up on them and jump on them and, you know, use the needle to make sure it hits them right. But most of the time, it's just about an air rifle and, you know, Open to God, they don't hear you. Does it bother me to see a balloon die? Uh, well, I mean, you do it as much as I have. You've seen so many things that keep you up at night. Eventually, it just doesn't bother you anymore. It's like, you know, it's like when you take a hot needle and you jab it in your eye, eventually you're just going to get used to it. You know, that's kind of, I guess it's the way it goes for a lot of people. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh. Uh, you got the address? Yeah, I know what that is. That's, that's no problem. It's gonna run you a bit, though, this time. Yeah. We're talking one pretty penny. Alright, well, maybe a nickel. Alright. Yeah, no problem. If you excuse me, there's a business to take care of.
Well, the, um, the whole guitar thing wasn't really working that well, so what I've done is now I just kind of sing uh, a cappella songs because, uh, you know, people are, during the holidays, hey, during the holidays, they're really open to, like, Christmas carols. And so I thought, well, maybe I could, like, carol and kind of change my angles. And so now I'm doing new songs. It's just that I'm uh, doing them a cappella, and that's uh, my new thing. You bastard! No! 